Assalamu alaikum and hi. In this video, we're going to be deciding whether a reaction is allowed or forbidden. Uh, the reaction is under weak interactions, which is radioactive decay. It just decays by itself. It has to do a lot with lepton numbers because when a particle decay, it will produce leptons. It doesn't matter if it's electron or muon or tau or electron neutrino. Let's take a look at this um, acronym for leptons. Do you still remember? It's E, M, T, and my text. E for electron, M for muon, and T for tau. And the other things are the electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino. Let's take a look at the charges. Electron, muon, and tau has negative one charge. And electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino has zero charge. When we're talking about weak interactions, the strangeness is the parity is not conserved but the lepton numbers charge number and baryon number is conserved every time we want to decide whether the reaction is allowed or not we're going to calculate the lepton numbers the charge numbers and the baryon numbers now let's take a look at the question this is the the decay of a proton to become neutron it releases muon and muon neutrino for this let's take a look at this table here it's all about muon so we're gonna just see muon particle only if that muon is negatively charged the muon number is one if the muon neutrino has no bar on it it has one muon number first let's take a look at the lepton electron number it has zero electron here so this process doesn't involve with electrons so you can just safely write zero here lepton number of electron is conserved there's no problem with it next we're going to take a look at the muon this has one muon neutrino so the number is one plus proton has no muon at all so it's zero and if you see here it's positively charged muon the muon appears in the natural state is negatively charged but this one is positive muon so it is an anti muon it is opposite from one so it's negative one plus zero now let's take a look at the tau number it has no tau here so everything must be zero no problem then let's take a look at the charge muon neutrino has zero charge so you write zero here and proton we all know that proton has a positive one charge muon is negative one charge but anti muon is positive one charge so charge is conserved baryon number muon neutrino is not a baryon but proton is a baryon and neutron is also a baryon so it must be one and one here so the reaction is allowed or not i'm gonna give you time to think have you decided whether this reaction is allowed or not? Yes, it is not allowed. It is forbidden because the lepton number is not conserved. Next question. This decay release one electron. So it must be involved with electron number and electron neutrino. At the left hand side, there is only one electron neutrino. So the lepton number is one. Proton has zero lepton number. And at the right hand side, uh, electron has one lepton number. The other things is not lepton, so it's zero. The muon number. This reaction doesn't involve with any muon or doesn't produce muon, so everything must be zero. So do tau. Let's take a look at the charge. The left hand side, the, the proton is positive one charge, and electron is negative one. Positive pi is positive one, and and another proton is positive one. Charge is conserved. The baryon at the left hand side, there is only one baryon which is proton and the right hand side also has one baryon number. So baryon number is conserved. The reaction is allowed. It obeys all the leptons, baryon and charge rules. C. The decay of a kion particle. Take a look at every single product produced by this decay. It involves one particle. There is only one particle, so electron number is zero, one, the left hand side, zero right hand side this is an anti muon so the lepton number is negative one if it is negatively charged the lepton number becomes positive one but in this case it's positively charged it is an anti muon so the number is negative one and one neutrino positive one tau zero kion has positive one charge one is a negatively charged if it's at its natural state but in this case it is an anti-muon so it has positive one charge 
and more neutrino has zero charge baryon there is no baryon involved in this reaction everything must be zero so the reaction is allowed it obeys all the lepton baryon and charge rules next the decay of a lambda particle it releases one electron and one anti-electron neutrino lepton number uh, left hand side zero right hand side electron negative has positive one lepton number and anti-electron neutrino has negative one lepton number if you add up everything in the left hand side and everything at the right hand side the answer is zero left hand side zero right hand side zero so lepton number is conserved next the muon number there is no muon here so everything must be zero tau also zero charge lambda neutral has zero charge muon plus has positive one charge electron has negative one charge and anti-electron neutrino has zero charge so if you add up all of these it yields to zero left hand side zero right hand side zero charge is conserved baryon number there is no baryon involved in this reaction baryon number is zero the reaction is allowed because it obeys all the lepton baryon and charge rules the thing about the weak interaction you have to remember this table because if you don't remember this table at least know what's going on in these reactions and you have to remember all the charges of the lepton because you want to answer uh, the question real fast you don't want to waste your time thinking about what is the charge what is the characteristics you want to straight away decide whether the reaction is allowed or not see you guys in the next videos